What is up, DG Army? In other words, also known as John, back with another video for you. This is a how-to on how to get replays, how to capture replays. Okay, so I'm in the garage here and what, obviously. Hit escape. I'm going to go to settings here. We're going to first turn on the capture replay. So it's right here called Enable Battle Recording. It's on the Game tab in the settings. You just click to check it and enable it. That's all you do. Now, once you do that, every one of your games will be saved into a dot replay or dot watt replay file and I'm about to show you one but that's what you need to do in game first now after this when you play games you'll start getting replays if you just got out of a game and then you say I want to save the replay it won't work so you have to wait until you play your next game and and it'll save every game from that point on so let me show you the next part which is actually in the uh, world of tanks folder hold on a sec all right, so right here you can see my desktop. I'm obviously out of the game. So I'm going to right-click the Start button here, open Windows Explorer. This obviously opens an Explorer for me. Now, you got to go to your World of Tanks folder to get your replays, okay? So it's on C Drive, Games, and World of Tanks, okay? Open up World of Tanks. There's a replay folder here. All your replays will be right here. Now, I have other folders. You won't have these because I'm separating out my replays. But they'll basically look like this. See, it's a dot replay file. And they'll end up, every time you play a game, in this folder here. Now, what I usually do is I play, I have two screens. So I play Watt on one screen, and my other screen, I have this window open, and I just delete out the ones where I have bad games. If I have a good one, I save it off into the good folder. Um, so that way I can keep them all separated. Um, so that's pretty much where you save your replays. Now, I'm going to show you how to do screenshots. Basically, when you're in the game, you uh, pull up the plate at the end, you're just looking at the details, and uh, you hit print screen, and it'll save a file down here in the screenshots in the same folder structure. See, I'm in World of Tanks, replays are there, screenshot folder right there. Now, it's going to come up like these numbers. I just leave the numbering system because it gets all funky if you don't, I don't know why. But you're going to get three plates. So you can see right here, let's look at these three plates. Hopefully it's a good game. I don't want to get too embarrassed here. Preview. Okay, so this was, this is the second tab of this uh, game, uh, and then this is the third tab, and this must be something else. Okay, I was screenshotting for something else. But usually you're going to get three screens, and let's see if we can get the first and third. So you'll get three screenshots, the first plate. So you na navigate to that first plate, hit print, print screen, and you see down here in the corner, well, it's not saying it yet, but I bet you it will in the next one. No, it doesn't say it. Well, it shows up here that you sent a screenshot to the screenshot folder. So you go to the second one, hit print screen on your keyboard, go to the third one, hit print screen. See, it says right here, screenshot saved to that screenshots folder. And it tells you what the name is. So once you have the dot replay file and you have your three, uh, three screenshots, you're going to email it to me. And I'll show you how I do that with Gmail. Hold on. Okay, so here I am. I'm in my uh, dgnetsubmissions at gmail.com account. And let's say this is your account and you're going to send me a replay. So you hit compose. I don't care about that. So here you are at two. You say dgnetsubmissions at gmail.com. Subject. This is where we're going to put your YouTube name. So I'm um, DG Dungeon Guru Net. And then your, your World of Tanks name, Nether Void. And then the tank, which, uh, I don't know, let's just say, it's not a T29, but let's say it was. And then how much XP you got? I don't know, 3,000. Non, uh, non, this is this non-duplicated XP, not two times, just a single XP. So then you're going to go, at, at, to, to attach files to this email, you're going to hit attach file. It's going to say, well, what files do you want to attach? So I don't know, I'm just going to attach these two files. It doesn't matter to me. But you're going to, oh, okay, wait, let's do it this right way. Attach a file. We're going to go to Computer, C Drive, Games, World of Tanks. We're going, to, we're going to get that replay, right? Let's just say I wanted to attach one of these good replays. And you can hit multiple files. Let's say these were the ones I wanted. That's my replay, and these are the screenshots, okay? So you just hit Open, and it's going to load them all into this email. And now you have to wait. See, it's uploading them to, to Gmail right now. So they're all uploaded. They're, it's going great. You see, all these files are very small. This is not even a megabyte, okay? Neither, none of these are a meg. JPEGs and .watt replays are very tiny little files. 
You don't need to upload them to Dropbox or anything weird. Just put them in email like this. Okay, it's all ready to go. I got all four of my images there, or my game and my three images. DGNet submissions at gmail.com and uh, again, YouTube name, um, what name, tank, and the XP. So I'm going to hit send. Pretty simple. Now, oh, there it is. I just got it. It's going to look like this. See? So this is the kind of this is what I'm looking for. This is the exact format I'm looking for. So that's how you do it, guys. It's pretty. It's it's really that easy. So uh, now you know how to do it. There should be no questions or anything about it. It's pretty easy. So can't wait to get your replays later, dudes.